Hello there. My name is Scott. I live in Ohio and I voted for Donald Trump in 2016. I personally most closely identify with compassionate conservatism, the concept of a small government, uh, the free exchange of good services and ideas across the citizens for the benefit of everyone, but with uh, safety nets that protect those who are not going to protect themselves. And there's a government role for that. Um, in 2016, I convinced myself that um, I believe in about 70% of what Donald Trump had to say and about 20% of what Hillary Clinton had to say. Therefore, the best solution would be to vote for Donald Trump, hold my nose, and ignore his glaring, obvious personality and character flaws. Um, someone once said, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And I am not going to be fooled a second time. Um, I will not vote for Donald Trump in 2020, and here's why. First, he is not a conservative. Uh, truly looking at his, uh, his spending, his deficit, his eagerness to use military force against U.S. citizens, even at the price of a First Amendment, if necessary. Uh, these are not conservative values. He wore the conservative shroud in order to get elected. Secondly, he's not a leader. Um, leaders use authority that they um, secure by use by their by their um, integrity, their character, and their vision to influence people. He he tries to use power of his bully pulpit, of his Twitter account, to bully people into supporting him. He tries to divide and conquer the American citizens. And finally, he's not even a nice person. Um, he belittles those who disagree with him. He calls them names like a middle school child. Um, he pouts. He's um, like a petulant child when he doesn't get his way. So not a conservative, not a leader, not even a nice person. Uh, let me tell you, I used to identify with the Republican Party, but my loyalty has been strongly fissured because of their allegiance to Trump, regardless of how obvious it is that they should stand up to him. Uh, and they've let him get away with his temper tantrums and his rants for too long. So I no longer consider myself a Republican. I'm kind of looking for a new home at this point, but I believe that if he's elected again for a second term, it may do irreparable damage to the Republican party. Um, now is the time to stand up against Donald Trump, not fit to be president of the United States. So that's why I emphatically will not vote for Donald Trump in 2020.